Hello and welcome to How Do I UV That, where I show how to UV map subscribers' models. So, for this episode, I got this axe that, that one of my subscribers sent for UV mapping. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, let's see which parts we should try to UV map. Let's do the, uh, the main axe blade here. Let's look at this isolated. Obviously, this is a pretty high poly model. I'm assuming this is from ZBrush. Uh, I'm going to recommend making it lower poly, but let's go ahead and focus on the UVs. So let's do that. So let's go ahead and open up the UV editor. And it looks like there are no UVs for this. So what I will do is I'm going to just give it a planar map with nothing. So let's leave it at that. And I'm probably going to start cutting away where I want it. For something like an axe, I'll probably cut this in the middle. Let's do a double click. And obviously because this is from ZBrush, the topology is not, um, it's not the optimal way to have a topology that will work for UVs. So if I double click this edge, for example, it just goes all over the place. So what I'll do is I'll just use my viewports here to make selections. So let's click on half of the bottle. So it's not going to be perfect because the uh, because of the topology. open up the UVs and now I'm going to apply a planar map to that so that it's a separate piece and I'll probably leave it that way although let's see this area it's kind of planar so I'll probably have to separate it but let's go ahead and try this first and let's do an unfold hopefully Maya can handle this many uh, polys so on their own fold unfold it okay let's see what this looks like let's enable the uh, checker pattern here and it looks pretty good there's just a tiny bit of distortion at the top but because this is a really high poly model I think that should work fine so okay I'm going to use the uh, Let's see, modify the layout too. I have it set to legacy just because I prefer the settings here. And I set it to world, I uh, and uniform, 90 degrees, and I just apply that. You may have to pack this a little bit better here. So that's how I would do that top piece. Let's go ahead and let's see. This piece is going to be a simple cylindrical map. Um, Let's go ahead and do that one. What I'll do is I'll probably do a planar map on the top faces first. Let's do that. Uh, planar map. Let's do the same for the bottom. And then for everything else, it's going to be obviously a cylindrical map. So let's apply a cylindrical map. And let's press Q to exit. Probably going to scale that down. Oh, whoops. I made a mistake here. I think I applied a spherical map meant to do a cylindrical one. I was wondering why that was looking strange. So now this is looking good. So it's a straight. It's not gonna be perfectly straight because of the geo but I think that gives us a pretty good map and let's do a layout. And there we go. So that's that. Let's see. You will do the same thing for this piece. 
the exact same cylindrical map. Do a planar map on the bottom faces and the top ones, and then just do a, a cylindrical map. Let's see. Let's try this piece. Let's just do a planar map first. So I would probably cut this at the top. Let's go to faces. I'll probably try to oops select that all the way through here on the edge. So let's try that. It's gonna be hard once again. Just because the geo is not perfect. So if you wanna make your life easier, I would just say make this lower poly and make sure that the geo is easier too. Easy to use, I guess. So that's what I would do. I'll fix the model first and then do UVs. Or else doing UVs is going to be really painful. And you're going to end up with weird... Um, weird cuts in your UV map. And I will have to make sure that the uh, this side is also a little bit cleaner. And I will do a planar map so that I have the cuts there. And let's see, I would for the bottom also do a planar map. Oh, that's weird. Why did it not include these faces? Let's try that again. I will make sure to keep it more along the lines of here. And I will probably do the same for the top. I will try to keep it to cut it over here maybe. So let's try that. Nope, not gonna work. And after doing that, I would do the unfold tool. Okay, and let's see, let's check for distortion. And for the most part, it looks pretty good. And we have some pretty straight pieces here, which is good because it makes it easier to pack your UVs. I always like to keep this at 90 degree angles. Same with this. And you can do a layout. And you get something like this. Which is... I mean, although it's not perfect. I mean, we don't have straight lines. It's... Uh, I think for a model this high poly. And with this kind of geo, I think this is the closest you're going to get to... Uh, 
to have in UV shells that look good. So I think that looks pretty good. This is typically what you want your UVs to look like. Straight lines, geometric shapes. Now that we have these pieces, we can probably do a layout on all these. And we get something along the lines of this. And I would do the same thing for everything else, basically. I would apply the same techniques that I used on this one for this piece. Um, the same techniques I used for this on these pieces. Let's see, oh, I, haven't, I haven't seen this trap here. Looks like the UVs for this are already fairly good. I think this is what you will end up with with something like this. Straight line, which is good. So keep this the way it is and then update these other pieces. That should look like this instead. And this as well. So yeah, that's basically how, you, how I would UV uh, a high poly object like this. Well, in Maya 2018. So, yeah, if you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Also, check the video description for uh, how you can also send your 3D model if you want me to UV map it for you and show how I would do it. So, yeah, 